Hello, this is the Wall 200 with the top three anime of 2018. Now, if your anime didn't make the list, I'm sorry, but these are just my preferences. Number three is Baki 2018. Now, this is pretty good. It's just not my cup of tea because there's like no fucking story whatsoever and like very little <laughs> uh, character development. And uh, some of the animation is pretty fucking bad. But overall, the fights are fucking insane. They're really good. They're really well done. Some of the you know, fight scenes are really fucking shitty. Like the anime, like. The animation, I mean, is really fucking shitty, okay? Like, they, they did not give a shit who animated this. It, it looks bad at certain points, but overall, the fighting is really fucking solid. So, if you're looking for, like, a testosterone-filled anime, like, there's no, really, no plot. There is a little plot here, and there's some, you know, uh, character development here and there. But it really focuses more on the fights, than anything else and that's what you have to really appreciate about this series particularly this particular series of Baki because I think they just kind of ignored it like the character development because you know Baki and all these guys are pretty well established already so they kind of like skipped that uh, they did do some not like in death or anything like that but um, you get what I'm saying like they did enough where you got it and they just stuck with the fighting there's very little in between the fights like there is some you know in between here but it's like they get to one fight to another and to another and to another so there's very little breaks between the fights uh, that i really like that's not unlike some anime like you know who have really long you know i guess you know character development and plot and, and, and all this in between shit but they don't really have that it's like once you get done with a the fight, they're on to a new next. So that perspective, I really like. And the fights are really fucking badass. And, like, they just these fighters are fucking insane. They do this craziest shit I've ever seen. Now, the next two were really hard. I couldn't decide one or two, but I had to make the decision. So it had to come down to Goblin Slayer and Megalobox. And I say number two is Goblin Slayer. I hate to say it, but there's a lot of disappointment within the series. Like the initial rape scene got the hype really built up quite a bit, and it just it just died down into almost nothing. And that was really disappointing. It's just like it dropped off to nothingness. Like the whole viewer base went down, the whole freaking ratings went down, and it's just like what the hell? Like they did a lot of different things within uh, you know when they adapted it to the anime, like versus the manga and they switch things around and there's a lot of stuff that was missing that they didn't put into the anime so like things got a little bit weird and like it was a disappointment where it, it was going because i was really excited to see it and it just seemed to go nowhere even though there's a lot of stuff here it's just uh just uh came up a little bit too short for our next anime, which is number one, Megalobox. Now, this is an amazing anime. Now, I didn't think I was going to like this because it was a sports anime. And if you're not into that, okay. But you should. I think you should at least check it out. Even if you, unless you really fucking hate sports anime, then I, you shouldn't really uh, check it out then. But I didn't think I was going to like this because I wasn't really into sports anime myself. But this one was really good. There's a lot of character development, and uh, you really like Gearless Joe. Like this guy is totally relatable, and uh, like the, I really like the story on this. This is, I think, rivals all of the other two animes I just mentioned before because just it does so well to develop the characters and the story is really fucking good. I did have some problems with it because, like, the ending was really of a disappointment. Like, they hyped the shit up, and it's just, just like, well, they dropped a the ball on the ending. Bottom line, I did not like it. Some people did, but me personally, I think they just fucked up the ending. Like, I was really hoping to see more of the fight, but you you don't. It's really disappointing, and some of the comebacks that Joe made, it was fucking insane. This guy would just be getting his ass completely fucking obliterated, and he would just punch the guy one time, and it'd be fucking over. It was, it was ridiculous, but other than that, I had no problems with it. The animation was so on point. It reminded me of, like, you know, the old style anime. Like, Cowboy Bebop, fucking Ninja Scroll. These old style, like, 
grungy looking anime that's like you know Akira or Akira or whatever you want to pronounce that fucking anime it reminded me of that just like the old style like anime but it was really really good like it's like it's not like that old style where it looks cartoonish or anything like that it's uh really well done you know it's not like really shitty and stuff like that so these are my top three you should check out all these I recommend them Thank you for listening. Rate, comment, and subscribe.